Welcome back <laughs> to the back rooms. An incredibly expansive, seemingly infinite dimension with multiple different levels resembling corrupted uncanny valley building interiors like schools, offices, play spaces, etc. If you don't know what the back rooms are, you should definitely watch my other stuff on it because you might be confused. Today's back rooms mania induced psychotic episode is on level fun. Level fun is similar to that of level zero with its damp piss yellow carpets and walls, but it has some key differences. Level fun basically looks like one of those laser tag birthday celebration rooms but if you took the uncanny valley factor and dialed it up to 11. You know, plastic chairs, table in the middle, creepy off-brand wall decals, cake that some kid has obviously just been shoving into his mouth with his bare hands that just also happens to be made out of human flesh, the whole nine yards. Wandering around this smells almost as weird as Chuck E. Cheese's party room level are the party goers. Party goers are intelligent and aggressive humanoid creatures that used to be human. They are tall, sinewy, with long, smooth, yellowish, leathery skin. In place of an eyes and mouth, they have bloodied empty sockets and crudely carved smiles, but they can still somehow see and vocalize. They use balloons as distractions and almond water as bait, so if something is weird, that's probably a good indication that it's weird. They can be outrun fairly easily because they can sprint for more than 20 seconds. Actually, I'm not sure if everybody watching this video can sprint for longer than 20 seconds, so who knows, maybe you'll be okay. You'll know if you're spotted because you'll begin to hear a distorted nursery rhyme. The song is actually a cognito hazard and results in whoever hearing it becoming extremely tired and numb to everything. So basically, it won't affect most of us in the slightest. The partygoers are skilled at no-clipping themselves or others, so you often don't even know if you've changed levels into their domain. Partygoers use strategy and hunting, where some will chase from behind as the others barricade off exits with the furniture and wait around corners of doorways to ambush prey. The ends of the partygoers' arms have holes that contain retractable fishhook-like claws that they use to latch onto their prey. After breaking the skin, the partygoer transfers a venom to the victim and then retreats like a pussy. The process will first take place in the affected area. You can cure this in the early stages via amputation or using super almond water. If you're wondering what super almond water is, it's the result of intense oversaturation and that kid that always has to top your story with a better made up story. The skin will begin to become leathery around the marks and spread across the surface of the skin. Blood flow to the hands will stop and they will go numb, turn purple, and fall off. The radius and ulna bones will dissolve and fuse in an incredibly painful process, rendering both arms immobile temporarily. Over the next few days, the victim will develop what looks like bruises that quickly turn into pustules. These will soon pop when the hooks have grown enough from the newly formed compound bone to pierce the surface, revealing a sore-like hole that the hooks can retract into. The victim's hair and face will seemingly begin to melt away like a plastic CVS bag that I left in my friend's oven. The venom degrades any memory of the victim's past life. They basically go full batch at this point and carve eyes and a mouth and begin receiving telepathic communications from the party host that the infector party goer belonged to. Party hosts are weird fat man baby fetus creatures with a party hat crudely stapled onto their scalp. They're completely immobile with shriveled human eyes and they're often sitting at a table with a human flesh cake with a candle in it. Because of their defenselessness physically, they're often guarded by party goers. Oh yeah, they telepathically communicate with the party goers and can see through their eyes. Happy birthday, little guy. Thanks for inviting me. I got you a gift. If you want us to no clip back into the back rooms and explore more of what the moist crevices and corners of this dimension have to offer, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled so I know you want to see more. Before we go, I want to thank Equaity for accepting a commission for this still of AZFK. This awesome artist is now a certified cult classic and will be in the description of every video. Oh, where are we? D did I pick the wrong hand? Oh, we were right there, man! Clap, 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 slap, 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 clap, 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 This is the most slap, obnoxious slap, thing slap, I've ever experienced clap, in my life. Clap. Oh my god, I did not think he was gonna do that. That scared me. That actually scared me a little bit.